Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And in today's video, I have quite the haul for you. Uh, it's a little bit excessive perhaps, but when the Rachel is bored, the Rachel will hoard. I just made that up and it rhymes. But I do have my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus here with me. And I usually do that versus my boxy charm, but I already filmed that video and I thought maybe I could do just like a haul video, including this and some of the makeup and hair care, I think I got. Oh, and I got one skincare item. So I got a couple things. But yeah, you might be noticing the hair. So before we get into everything I bought, <laughs> keep on watching. Let's go. So yes, this was sort of my first purchase at 11 o'clock in the night one evening. I did make a full video showing you the process of me dyeing my hair. It is a temporary hair mask. Uh, this is from Moroccan Noel. This is their color depositing mask. I saw Kathleen Lights and Kelly Gooch do this. So I thought, what time better in my life to finally uh, fulfill all my pink hair desires than right now? Now, is it a little bit more red toned than pink toned? Yes, but it will fade, it is fine. It kind of got my itch that I've never been able to scratch out of me and I did get these at Sephora. I think these little packets retail for $7 each. You can buy like a big thing of it, but I mean, even with this, there's like, a, I can feel that there's a little left in each of these and I feel like two packs covered my hair. I feel like if I had only gotten one, it wouldn't have been enough to cover my hair. I do have a lot of thick hair. So I do think two packs kind of helps, but so it was $14 to get two shades and I mean, I'm happy with the results. It could have gone so bad, so I am pleased. Also, if you are wondering what makeup I am wearing on my face, I did film this video. This is my, the way I've been doing my makeup in quarantine slash trying a couple new products face. So I'll link that up here. But I figure we'll start with Ipsy. I have two orders from Ulta and an order from Target here. So we're gonna start with Ipsy. So I guess this month the theme is full bloom. The first thing I do have is from Ciate London, and this is their Triple Shot XXL Mascara. I'm trying to be more particular as to what I actually bring into my collection because now that I do have my inventory numbers in a spreadsheet, I don't necessarily like to add things unless it's something I really wanna try. And I do have a lot of mascaras currently in my to try thing in my closet. And I don't really think that the Ciate London one is calling out to me. So I won't even open this and I'll put this aside for a giveaway. I haven't decided what I wanna do about my next giveaway because I don't necessarily want to go to a post office anytime soon. So I haven't really decided when my next giveaway will be, but when it is going to happen, I'll let you know because I have been storing away a lot of things that I think you guys will like. Oh, and this retails for $22, which I feel like is a pretty average price for a higher end brand. Also, forgot to mention, Ipsy, this Glam Bag Plus costs $25 a month. All right, so I got a blush and highlighter palette from Shayna B, and this is, I guess, called their Miami palette. I've never heard of this brand, but the palette actually looks really pretty. Now, I will say the highlighter is way too golden for my skin tone, but this one looks like it'll probably work on me, and these blushes look amazing. I will say, I feel like often I get really obscure brands of face palettes from Ipsy. However, a lot of the times I really like them and I feel like this is one that I will get along with. Those blushes look amazing. I've just been so into blush lately and this retails for $20. Even though it's not a brand I know of, it actually looks pretty nice and I like that there are little flamingos on it. Okay, the next product is from Sella and this is their Creme Rose Cream uh made with notes of jasmine peach and rose water i don't really like jasmine or rose water scents so i probably will just put this aside for a giveaway it is four ounces and this retails for 39 dollars uh i have so many like body creams right now that i know i would never use this so i definitely will put that aside i got the tart tardis double take eyeliner now i really really like the roll up pencil side of this and i actually have one in my backups that i got in a Advent calendar this past December, but I actually think I'm going to take it out of my inventory and move it into my giveaway stash because since finding the Physicians Formula liquid eyeliner, I don't really have a desire to use other liquid eyeliners. And while I think this is a decent liquid eyeliner, I really only love this product because it has a really good uh, roll up gel pen. So I think I'll put both in my giveaway pile, which means I will be removing an eyeliner from my 
inventory even though it's not it's never been opened and it's basically brand new because i just got it in december but it's just like in my backup drawer here so this retails for 24 dollars, and i really really do love the roll up pen it's like one of my best eyeliners i own the last product that is not an add-on is the dose of colors matte liquid lipstick in the shade brick i know this is what i chose because i know i really like dose of colors but i don't know if i want to keep it this retails for $18. The thing is, I don't think I would wear this. And even though like I'm so tempted, I feel like it's a color I would try on once, be like, eh, I'm not crazy about it and never touch it again. And I know like a lot of people love Dose of Colors Liquid Lip Six, and I think I'd rather put it aside for a giveaway for one of you guys. And that would be that. Meaning the only thing I'm going to be keeping is this blush palette. So for the $25 I paid for this box this month, it's not my all time fave. We did get this little makeup bag. I mean, it's cute, but I'm not really in this for the bag, to be completely honest. It's cute. I don't know. So I did do an add-on, and I did add on a new Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. This is my all-time favorite mascara, so being able to get it for, like, half price is, like, huge. And <laughs> I'm still working on one, but I've had it open way too long, I think. And I know I have a mini one I also added on, but... I don't know how to know when it's done because like it still works so well. I don't want to just like waste it and get rid of it, but like I don't know what to do. But yeah, I am. Um, I love this mascara. And then I also did one of the $3 add-ons and I got the Koki Be Bright Concealer. I have been wanting to try this for a really long time, but I have actually never tried Koki Cosmetics, <laughs> ever. Like I've never tried anything from the brand. And this is the shade light. This was the, light, the lightest one that they had available as an add-on and I'm excited. I've heard it's very similar to the First Aid Beauty Bendy Avocado Concealer, and that's like a very lightweight concealer that I enjoy. So I'm excited to try this out. And that is what I got from Ipsy. Is it my all-time favorite <laughs> box? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm more excited about my add-ons, to be completely honest. But uh, let's get in to the two Ulta purchases made for two separate reasons, and then the Target one, which was its own reason okay first ulta order i had a small like bag of freebies and there were two things i had been wanting and i decided to indulge and gift myself some things <laughs> that i had just been wanting because i'm not necessarily getting the things i want in life right now and you know what? it was like two things and i was like i'm doing it and the first is from first a beauty and this is their new weightless liquid mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide i've heard great things about this sunscreen it is a zinc oxide sunscreen however i've heard that it does have like a really good slight tint to it so that it does not leave a white cast and this one is 1.5 fluid ounces and i know that i'm really low on facial sunscreen so i wanted to make sure that i had something good as a backup and then i treated myself to a mini palette that i've had in like my wish list for so long now and it's like expensive but i realized like it's the same price point as the ofra eyeshadow palette i bought and then i was like wait then I'm getting it. And it's from NARS. And I've never owned a NARS eyeshadow palette in my entire life. So this is like, the, like I'm just so excited. Like this just makes me so happy. This is called the Suede Palette. So it's like a mini palette. I want to do a ranking mini palette video, but like I really want to try a lot of mini palettes. And like I have a really good variety, but this was one that I just wanted. <laughs> so I got it. So this is what it looks like. I think this is the one that Jessica Braun really enjoys. But it's just so pretty. And I don't know. I just think it looks absolutely beautiful. I like when a palette has like a, a light matte, a dark matte, and then like a variety of shimmer options. Because I feel like that to me, as far as a neutral palette goes, is like my thing. Like, all right, I know I'm put in the crease. I know I'm put in the outer corner. But like, what shimmer do I want to wear today? So I'm really excited for this. This is like my little gift to myself. And then I can show you the little freebie bag or not. So I got, what is this? This is Ardell Magnetic Lash and Liner. I probably won't keep this. I probably can put this aside for the giveaway because as cool as I think the magnetic la liner with lashes thing looks, I know like the amount of times I wear lashes, like this liner would never get used in. I'll put that aside because I'm sure somebody else would love to try this out. This is from Hemp's and this is their Pure Hemp Hydrating Healthy Herbal hair mask and deep conditioner. It's a limited edition. I have never tried a hair product from Hems before. I actually have a Hems body wash in my shower at the moment though. What else do we have here? This is from Daily Concepts and this is a Your Facial Mini Scrubber. I don't know if I have one of these. I might have one of these, I'm not sure. I'll have to look in my shower stuff. Also from Chlorine, I have a Sun Radiance 
protective oil. Is this for your hair? Hair protect, <laughs> an oil to protect your hair from the sun. Why does that make me laugh? Like my hair's gonna see the sun. Actually, this is interesting. I don't think I really have anything like this and I do really like Chlorine's dry shampoo. So this will be fun to try out. I got a lipstick from Milani. It's a matte in the shade Delicate. It looks pretty. I don't know if I'll keep it. I might put this aside for a giveaway. I don't know if I'll actually use that. It's very pink and I don't usually wear a lot of pink lipsticks. This is exciting. I got an e.l.f. liquid glitter eyeshadow. I've heard pretty good things about this. This is the shade Copper Pop. So I think I'll probably put the Milani lipstick in a giveaway and save this one to try out. And then from Vici, I got the, the Aqua Thermal Rich uh, Hydration Cream. I love this stuff. I'm fairly certain I've used this one from Vici before and it was, it was lovely. So I'm actually really excited to have that. <laughs> what else we got? This is from... Sec Vite, and this is a dry, fast top coat. Oh my god, it's the tiniest little top coat ever. I would love to try this. It's so cute. I could always use a good uh, top coat, so that's actually really neat. The last thing I have is from CeraVe, and this is their foaming facial cleanser. I don't like the hydrating one, but I am very interested in trying the foaming one and seeing if this is something I prefer. Those were the free things. Then Ulta had to go and have a sale, and I picked up four things from the sale. So I love the brand Eva NYC. I think they're one of the better hair care brands that are more like a drugstore price, and especially with them being on sale, they're even like a better drugstore price. Right now I have their hair mousse open, and it is the nicest hair mousse I've ever used in my life. But I've heard a lot of people talking about their dry shampoo and I wanted to try it. And I go through dry shampoo so fast. So I was excited to grab this. And then I also grabbed a refill from them. It is huge. This is their hair, th their therapy session hair mask. I have used this in the past. I actually first ever got this in an influencer box box and I just loved it. And it's, it, I'm sure it smells so good. Let me, let me recall how good it smells. Oh my God. <laughs> It smells so good. Oh my God. This is, this is such a good brand. I was so excited to see this brand was on sale. Then I also grabbed a new J-Cat Aquasurance powder foundation. This is my all-time favorite powder foundation. I grabbed a new shade. This is the shade Natural. I wasn't ever able to use mine last summer when I was self-tanned because I didn't have a darker shade. So I kind of got this for when I'm self-tanned this year, perhaps. Then I got one thing from ColourPop. It, it was a product in my everything I own from ColourPop video that I said I've never tried and I've always been interested in trying and it's one of their Super Shock blushes. And I got the shade Between the Sheets and I'm very, very excited to try this out. I've never done it before. I like the Super Shock eyeshadows. I like the Super Shock highlighters. So I'm very excited to try one of the blushes. Lastly, Target. First is first, it's leggings I'm wearing. So, I love leggings and I usually don't do my laundry until all of my favorite leggings are dirty. So I wanted to grab a new pair of leggings because I feel like I was doing laundry every time I ran out of a pair of leggings. And these are the first time I'm wearing them. I originally put them in my cart maybe two weeks ago because I saw they were on sale. And then last week they weren't on sale anymore. But then I went back again this week and they were on sale. I will link a picture of them right here. I will say they're not my all time favorites. My all time favorites still to this day are my Fabletics leggings. They are the comfiest ones I own. I prefer more of a compression in the leg and a looser waistband. And I feel like this has a tighter waistband and less compression in the legs. However, that being said, they're still pretty comfortable and they do have a cell phone pocket. My cell phone is in my pocket right now. And uh, I do like them. I'm glad I grabbed them. They are needed. One of the reasons I really made a purchase at Target was because of tampons. Let me tell you something. We went to the supermarket like two weeks ago and I realized there were like no tampons in the store. And I was like, uh. <laughs> While for this recent period I was stocked up, I was a little concerned for next month potentially. So I wanted to uh, make sure I got an order in a little bit earlier to make sure I got some just in case. So that was a scary thing I saw. Okay, then I grabbed three makeup products. The first was this pack of sponges from Sonia Kashuk and this is their mini makeup blender trio. I really like the Sonia Kashuk sponge but it is huge and it is way bigger than I prefer so I thought maybe when these little ones get wet they would kind of be more of like a normal size and I think these three were the same price as one so I think one Sonia Kashuk sponge is five dollars so I'm excited to test out these little guys here. And then I got a foundation that I have never tried ever 
and I don't know how I've never tried it, but it is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. I've had the matte and poreless way, way back before I was ever on YouTube, but I have never tried the dewy one. And I was just like, I had the need, the need to try this foundation because someone commented on my Instagram post about how much they liked this when I was talking about like drugstore foundations. And I was like, how have I never tried that one before? So I got the shade Classic Ivory, which is a little darker than my natural skin tone. So we'll see how that works. And then I got this primer from L'Oreal because I'm fairly certain Emily Noel said this was, in her opinion, a very similar drugstore dupe for the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And that is like a really nice product, but that thing costs $60. And I have a little sample of it and I was kind of thinking of like trying like half and half on my face to see if I can like compare them. I don't know. That is what I have gotten recently. This is what happens when I am stuck inside. But you know, it gives me content to make you guys. And also let me know if there is anything specific you are wanting to see on my channel. I know YouTube in general, the views aren't doing great. And it's not just views aren't great. In general, AdSense revenue is like I've never seen it before. And uh, you know, it makes me sad because I enjoy doing this and I don't necessarily do it because you know, <laughs> I'm living large here, but it more so makes me sad for people where this is their full-time income because you know a lot of people are suffering right now and it is sad and i use makeup to kind of help me not get into a funk and you know every day doing my makeup is kind of like my little therapy session you know i can do something simple like this or i've been trying and playing with colorful shadows occasionally going out of my comfort zone just using this time at home to keep calm and pet my cats. But yeah, definitely let me know what you guys are wanting to see, if you have any specific video ideas you'd like to see on my channel coming up. And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.